Hey guys, what's up? Vlog Talk Apple 96 and today I'm going to be teaching you how to swap out or change the CMOS battery in your desktop. So if your desktop or laptop is getting to be about 8 years old then many of you know that your CMOS battery tends to go dead or low charge. So every time you can turn your computer on, your clock is either completely out of whack and your date and your time goes back to when your computer is built or when you turn it on it will uh, say alert system battery low so uh, we're going to switch our internal battery or as called CMOS battery out of this Dell desktop so basically this re requires absolutely no tools unless of course your case for wireless requires tools to be all open so if there's screws on the side of your case that you have to take off to open the case then you will require a screwdriver but this case doesn't require any screwdrivers at all so guys, now that you have your case open, you're going to look and we're going to focus on the motherboard here. So one of the first steps we're going to find here is that you're going to see, it looks like a little, um, it looks actually like a big watch battery that should be right here in your motherboard. So the first thing we're going to do is before we touch the insides of the computer, we're just going to touch a metal surface. So an unpainted like this, something that's unpainted metal uh, to get the static electricity out of her body. And then you'll see right here, all we have to do is, is push on the little tab. Sometimes it can be difficult to get out. Like this. There we go. Took a little effort to get that out, but... This is an older computer, so the spring can wear out sometimes. So we see here you got your CMOS battery. It's all fine. Just toss it out. It's garbage. Now we'll get a new one. So we'll make sure that your old battery and your new battery match. So this one's a 3-volt uh, CR2032. So make sure it matches the old battery. And we'll just take that, simply set it like this. Put it in like that and push it in, it'll hear a click, and that's basically it guys, so when you'll just put that in, close up your computer, uh, hook it back up, and away you should go. So if you have a dead CMOS battery or internal battery in your computer, this is the way to do it for a desktop. Thanks for watching, and bye bye, see you later.